my class. Every day we see a variety of things around us. The different size, shape, color and many other things. But two things are common. First, all objects have mass. So now students, what is mass? Mass is a quantity that tells us how heavy or light an object is. Mass is measured by weight. For example, this eraser, pen, ball, they are light in weight. But the book, water bottle, this board, they are heavy in weight. Similarly, all objects take up space. For example, books, they take up space on the table. You take space on the chair. Your clothes take up space in the cupboard. So, anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. I repeat, anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. So, this water bottle is a matter. This book is a matter. This ball is a matter. This table is a matter. This board is also a matter. Matter includes both living and non-living things. Living things means plants, animals, human beings. We all are matter. Matter like air, water, etc. They are also matter. So, ultimately we can define matter as anything that has mass and occupies space. Now, we should note one thing here. Light Sound and electricity are not matter. I repeat, light, sound and electricity are not matter because they do not have mass and they do not occupy any space. Now, all matter is made up of tiny particles called molecules. These molecules are the building blocks of matter. Just like bricks are the building blocks of your house, similarly molecules are the building blocks of matter. Now, these molecules are made up of atoms. The word atom has come from a Greek word which means indivisible. That means it cannot be further divided into small parts. The molecules are so small that they cannot be seen with our naked eyes. They can be seen only under a powerful microscope. Now, this is the molecular arrangement which we can be seen under a microscope. Based on this molecular arrangement, mole matter can be classified into three states. Solid, liquid and gas. But, before going into the detailed description into the three steps of matter, you should understand the concept of intermolecular space and intermolecular force of attraction. Here you see there is some space between the molecules. This is a space between the two molecules. This is a space between the two molecules. This space or gap between the two particle molecules, it is known as intermolecular space. In solids, the intermolecular space is very small and in gas it is very large. Okay, students. So, in solids have very less intermolecular space and gas have very large intermolecular space. And, and see, these molecules, between these two molecules, there is a force of attraction also working there. So, the force of attraction between these two molecules, it is called intermolecular force of attraction. These forces are very strong in solids as compared to liquids and gases. And in gases, the intermolecular force is very weak or, or I can say it is very weakest. Gases have very weakest intermolecular force of attraction. So, based on this intermolecular space and intermolecular force of attraction, matter is classified into three states, solid, liquid and gas. So, in my next class, I will go into a detailed description of solid, liquid and gas. That's all for today. Have a good day.